Iceland could become the first Western democracy to introduce censorship of the Internet. The government is thinking of banning online pornography in an attempt to protect children and reduce violence. Methods under consideration include the introduction of the same filters used by China, as well as making it illegal to use credit cards to access pay-per-view porn. To discuss this, we're now joined by former MI5 agent Annie Macon. Uh, thank you very much for being with us. Uh, let's get right to it. Now, Western democratic nations would generally claim to oppose censorship. Doesn't this contradict the ideas of Internet openness and freedom of speech? Well, very much so. Of course, I do understand that all parents want to protect their children from violent pornography, which can be easily accessible on the Internet. But there are two arguments against this. The first one being, as you mentioned, the Chinese government tries to crack down on the internet. And even there, um, geeks and hacktivists always find a way to tunnel around whatever controls they can put in. So trying to implement censorship of this nature simply won't work practically, especially when you're up against the, the might of the porn industry, which has always been, been one of the leading innovators with internet technology. But the second one is a more moral point of view, which may sound surprising when we're talking about uh, trying to censor forth. Um, but it's a very slippery slope to start going down the path of any sort of internet censorship for whatever reason. Because, of course, once you're in a position where um, authorities can look into what is being passed down the wires and then choose to block whatever they want, be it violent porn to begin with, then, of course, they have the tools to look into other communications and block other things in the future. So it's a very slippery slope on the civil liberties front to begin to go down. Now, about that slippery slope, let's go down the rabbit hole, if you will. If Iceland does introduce this ban, what effect will this have on the rest of the world? I think it's unlikely that um, they will introduce it, but if they do, then I think it's very, good, very quickly going to be seen to have failed. As I said, people will find a way to tunnel around it. They will be up against the innovation of the porn industry. Um, so it probably would be a failed experiment within a year or two. Um, but I think if a Western country is seen to be doing this, it'll be justification for other more totalitarian regimes to say, well, you know, Iceland's doing it, so we can do it too. And of course, it might well encourage ill-thought-out policies in other Western democracies. But it's interesting because I'm actually in Iceland at the moment. I'm doing a speaking and media tour for a, an organization called Law Enforcement Against Prohibition, or LEAP. And this is the whole um, issue of censorship is very much a hot topic here. But everything seems to be a very hot topic here because post the financial crash, they've had a rethink in Iceland about the nature of their democracy, uh, whether or not they need to redraft a constitution. And they are very open about the whole idea of media freedoms. And they're also very open about the idea of pornography. So um, the only issue they really have here is that they are concerned about the increasing violence that they see in very easily accessible pornography. They're not trying to ban porn full stop. It's a very open, very liberal society. Now, in, critics, and not just critics, you actually touched on this just a bit ago. They're saying that these censorship technologies are blended with surveillance technologies as well. How can we be sure that this is just going to be used to protect children, as they say? Well, we absolutely can't. I mean, the issue of paedophilia, the issue of porn, and the issue of terrorism has always been used to justify any sort of attempt at censorship and a crackdown on the freedoms of the Internet. And this is crucial for the development of the global society. As soon as you start allowing certain technologies to be input onto the Internet to stop and censor certain information, they will be misused by our police states, by our intelligence agencies. And as soon as we are aware that the internet is being censored and we might be being watched or monitored at all times, then we start to self-censor as well. We will not download books or information as freely as we might in case it might be deemed to be radical or subversive and we go onto some domestic extremist hit list. Um, and then, of course, we self-censor what we say on the internet as well. <clears throat> so it'd be very quick to slide into some sort of Orwellian Big Brother dystopia. I mean, we'd probably slide down that rabbit hole faster than any of us could say Aaron Schwartz. Well, we appreciate your thoughts on the subject. Uh, interesting from your perspective as well, and being in Iceland. Thank you very much. Annie Macon, uh, former agent for MI5.